Hey, welcome. Someone had asked me in the comments to make a turkey leg for Thanksgiving. So I thought we would do that today. It's super simple. You only need like a few things that you probably already have. So um, we're gonna use foam clay for this one. So get yourself a chunk, depends how big you want your turkey leg to be. And then just condition your clay. And then to this, I'm going to add a little territorial beige. And then just mix that in. So once you've got your color all mixed in, you should just have a light tan color. This will just be better than having white as your base because, you know, if any spots show through, it'll be like so bright if it's white. So then I just... Um, rolling it into a ball and then what I'm going to do is pull the clay out. Now you want to make sure this part doesn't get too skinny or else it'll just basically like droop down. So you want to just pull it out but keep a nice thickness so that it's not too heavy. And then we're just going to kind of taper this. We don't want it to be completely round. And you can kind of smooth out any of your lines and stuff that are in there. Just use your finger and smooth over them. Okay, and then now for the end of the leg here, it kind of like dips in. So you can use your finger or you could use like your paintbrush or something, um, popsicle stick, anything, just to get that kind of indentation there. So now I have the basic shape. I'm, um, there are still some lines on here. I'm really not too worried about that because, you know, turkey is not going to be like perfectly smooth anyway. So, um, it's okay to leave some of those lines if you want to. So now we need to paint. Um, I'm going to start out with my usual color that I use. So territorial beige. And this will be equal parts of each color. And then yellow. And then harvest orange. And then we're gonna dry brush this on all over the turkey leg. So get as much paint as you can out of your brush and then just start lightly brushing over it. Now you can do this while your clay is wet or you can wait until it dries and do it then. It's completely fine either way. Now down here, sometimes some of the bone part will show. So if you wanted to leave that, you know, like a little bit of that lighter, you can. Um, I'm just gonna go over the whole thing because sometimes the skin just goes all the way down. So just depends on what look you want to go for. So now some of the parts of the turkey get a little bit darker colored. So I'm just going to add some melted chocolate right to this mixture that I have here just to darken it up some. 
You could also use burnt umber. Any dark brown color should work. And then I'm just going to do some of the parts that would get darker with this. Now I'm going to take some apple barrel chocolate bar and I'm going to um, just go over some of the areas that would get darker. This is like a, a darker brown, but it has some like red to it. So it's good to give that kind of roasty look, but just use it very lightly. And then the last thing that we need to do is put some uh, gloss Mod Podge on it to make it shiny. And if you want to make it glossier once it once the first coat coat dries, sometimes it will kind of sink into the foam a little bit, so it's not as shiny as. Mod Podge usually is, so you can always go over with a second coat if you want it to be shinier. And if you guys want to see me make a whole turkey, I actually did that with um, stuffing in my Fake Bake VIP group, and that's my paid membership. So I also have that tutorial available in my Etsy shop. I'll put the link to that in the description for you if you want to see the whole turkey and stuffing. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.